The 2023 Fraser Institute survey of mining companies covered 86 jurisdictions assessing their overall investment attractiveness index based on policy, perception, and pure mineral resources. Namibia's position on the overall investment attractiveness index declined by three points from 59 in 2022 to 56 in 2023. On this index, Namibia was ranked 42 out of 86 jurisdictions surveyed compared to 38 out of 62 jurisdictions in 2022. While in the African context, Namibia ranked 4th out of 22 African jurisdictions surveyed compared to 6th out of 16 jurisdictions surveyed in 2022. Of course, I don't like where we are as Namibia and uh, I would like to work with the mining industry to see how can we improve Namibia's ranking. One of our people was saying that sometimes the ranking can also be attributable to a gap in information. When government is doing this and the industry is away, sometimes it's something that was announced some time ago and then it is not uh, implemented. Sometimes it's a policy that is taking law to come in force. Sometimes it's something that was announced, industry and uh, government engaged, and then it's not communicated. But of course, sometimes it's things that government need to do to achieve other objectives, which the industry does not appreciate, and we need to make peace with that one. Namibia's ranking is said to have declined in recent years due to policy uncertainty, including local ownership requirements and changing investment laws. Wanja therefore says the recent need for a whole-of-government approach to improve the country's investment attractiveness. An independent tax consultant, Johan Nil, called on government to review some of the tax laws in favor of investors. The current proposal that I've seen is that you will only be allowed to carry forward one million Namibian dollars um, of assessed losses. So that, that if you think about a mining startup in, in the first few years with all your development expenditure, uh, it will, you will lose a lot of money uh, from an assessed loss perspective being not able to carry that forward. So they do give you a 10 year period, but the problem is the capping of the one million. Uh, so that, that is something that I think needs serious uh, attention. Jelena Fuka, for Business Today, Bantu.